Hello, this is Professor C. P. Prakasham, former professor from International Institute for Population Sciences, Mumbai. I will be discussing about mantle Hazenel's test to calculate adjusted odds ratio by a confounding variable. What is mantle Hazenel's test? Mantle Hazenel's test is used to determine whether there is a relationship between two dichotomous variables controlling for the level of the third variable. That third variable is also defined as a confounding variable. Mantle Hazenel's test provides a pooled odds ratio across the stata of k folds in 2 by 2 into k contingency table. Mental Hazenel's test provides an estimation of odds ratio of the exposed variable adjusted to the strata. The strata variable is a confounding variable. In identifying the odds ratio, we have got the three types of variables. One is the outcome variable, a variable of interest for which the researcher wants to understand the treatment effect on Y. This is also called the dependent variable. The effect is called the dependent variable, that is outcome variable. Treatment variable is a variable of interest for which the researcher wants to understand the impact of the outcome variable. This is called a cause of the variable. We are finding out the odds ratio for the cause and effect and the influence of the third variable. That third variable is a confounding variable. He is an external variable and an important effect that both outcome and treatment variable, this effect. That is the cause, the cause and effect. Between the cause and effect, there is a confounding variable which influences the cause as well as the effect. One example is that cancer. Cancer is affected by the smoking and while uh, smoking is also, uh, drinking alcohol is all, and smoking together also influences the cancer. Therefore, finding out the relation between the occurrence of the cancer, smoking alone will have a, some impact but drinking alcohol along with smoking will have a better effect that will give the influence of confounding variable on the cause variable. Confounding variable can also introduce error or a bias in making it is difficult to determine these observed effect is solely due to independent variable that is the cause variable only. That is controlling for the effect of the confounding variable is essentially to establish the true causal relationship. That is possible by using the mental Hazenel's test. We will illustrate this with an example. A researcher is interested to find out the influence of hypertension on diabetes among elderly population. He collected the data from a large survey that is called LASI. For this data is available by the clicking the down below the link. Uh, from that LASI data, Longitudinal Aging Survey of India, we have collected the data on the diabetes, ever diagnosed diabetes, yes, no, yes equals to 1, no equals to 0, hypertension is measured, ever diagnosed hypertension, yes, no, and the third variable, that is a confounding variable, current age of the respondent, less than 45 years, 45 to 64 years, and 65 plus. To find out the influence of hypertension on diabetes among elderly population, we will use mental Hazenel's test. Here you can see the diagram that diabetes is influenced by hypertension as well as diabetes influenced by the age of the elderly. And uh, uh, hypertension is influenced is influencing and influenced by the elderly population. As the age increases, hypertension may increase, chances of hypertension may increase. That also affects that. Therefore, the confounding variable here is the age of the elderly 
that will be influencing diabetes as well as the hypertension and we will examine by using the mental health test. There are two assumptions involved before conducting the mental health test. That is, the observations must be independent of one another and observations must be identically distributed. By using the SPC software, we will illustrate how to calculate mental health test to find out the pooled odds ratio and adjusted odds ratio to determine the influence of hypertension on diabetes with the confounding variable that is age by strata. This is the data set which has been collected from the longitudinal study LASI and here we will find the current age, age of the at the last birthday and then here you can find out ever diagnosed hypertension and ever diagnosed for the diabetes and then the age of the individual. These are the three variables. Here we want to find out the uh, diabetes is influenced by the hypertension among the elderly. That is the elderly age of the elderly is the confounding variables. That has been recorded. Diabetes is recorded into uh, no, uh, no is 0 and S is 1. Similarly, here also hypertension is also recorded into 0 and 1. The single year age group is, div is given into a group and less than 45 years, 45 to 64 years and 65 plus. It has been group grouped. Now we have to find out the influence of confounding variable and then we will estimate the pool, pool odds ratio and ad adjusted odds ratio for the uh, total observations by taking into the strata. Therefore, for that purpose, you go to the analyze, click descriptive statistics and go to the cross tabulation, click and then ever diagnosed hypertension, you bring it here, ever diagnosed diabetes, you bring it here. These are the ca cases and these are the influencing factors of that and then we will say age group by this is the confounding variable is given under the layer and say after identifying the variables then we will go to the statistics and click statistics this will give you chi square and risk estimation and as well as Cochrane and mental hazardous statistics here click here this mental hazardous statistics and Cochrane mental statistics will give you the influence of confounding variables in estimating the risk factor. But chi-square and other risk factors will give you for the individual strata wise it will give. Then we will say continue. Once we will say continue and say ok, we will get the output. This is the output generated by taking into consideration of ever diagnosed diabetes and ever diagnosed hypertension, yes, no, and yes, no. This is the contingent table for each strata of the age group less than 45, 45 to 64, 65 plus. Then this will give the frequency of that cases. This will give the chi-square test for each strata, for each age group wise it is it will give. It is not the pooled one. And this will give the total sample of that chi-square test and this will give the risk estimation that shows that odds ratio for every diagnosed hypertension yes no is 4.896 for the group age group less than 45 for the age group 45 to 64 it is 4.866 for 65 plus this is the age group then this is it for the total sample odds ratio of the ever diagnosed hypertension in relation to the yes no having the, the hypertension is 5.118 that shows that the persons who are having the odds ratio is the five times of the hypertension they are having it diabetic patients who are uh, having five, uh, five, uh, hypertension is 5.11 times higher than the those who are not having diabetes 
when compared to that here this will give you the in relation to the total sample this will give you the relation to the uh, uh, strata that is the for a particular age group but this will not give the so uh, pooled odds ratio and adjusted odds ratio for that purpose we will be using mental hazenal stress and it shows it satisfies the two uh, assumptions one is the homogeneity and as well as the test of independency these are the two assumptions and these two assumptions are satisfied then this is the estimated mental hazenal uh, uh, odds ratio as well as the adjusted odds ratio is given and with the confidence interval is given further we will discuss here is the output from the s faces and the risk estimation is given here when you look at this uh, right side risk estimation it has given by current age less than 45 45 to 64 65 plus and total odds ratio that we will discuss here and the calculated odds ratio is given 5.118 that is the crude odds ratio which has considered not considering the confounding variable that is having diabetes among the elderly person who ever diagnosed hypertension was 5.118 times higher than those who said no hypertension among the total sample population that is the crude odds ratio then looking at the strata wise that is less than 45 years and then 45 to 64 and 65 plus odds ratio is given calculated by age group wise it shows clearly that less than 45 years of age odds ratio is 4.896 followed by 4.866 as well as 4.859 between the strata that is the with the, uh, for each confounding variable separately it is not pooled one then the mental hazenal common odds ratio estimation is given as a 4.864 which will consider the influence of current age on hypertension and diabetes therefore the pooled odds ratio by applying mental hazenal test shows that 4.864 that is 4.8 times higher among the persons who are influenced by the hypertension having diabetes than the their counterpart similarly that this includes the confounding variable that means the influence of the collectively by the current age of the elderly population then by using this data we can also calculate the mental hazenal test this will be shown to find out the pooled odds ratio and then it will be calculated by using the strata how do you identify the confounding variables influence on the case and control observations here we have taken the data that is go to the file already it has been recently used therefore here is the data path use and identify the variables there and data should be in a our hypertension the diabetes number of diabetes is rht 003 and diabetes hypertension is given as rht 002 and the current age is given in the three coded value is given but remember that the cases as well as the control observation should be in a dichotomous way and then you can have the classification by the confounding variables therefore we have to find out the influence of confounding variables on the diabetes which is influenced by the hypertension for that purpose we can use the mental hazenal test which will identify the influence of confounding variables and calculate the adjusted odds or odds ratio for that purpose we are having the mental hazenal test how to calculate that then go to the command and then say cc and then say bring the variable rh3 that is the, the persons who are exposed for the diabetes and then that those are the cases and then these are the 
influencing factor which is the hypertension put a comma there by your right and then put a bracket with then bring out the confounding variable that is the current age and click then you will be getting the output here it will give you the uh, these are the current age which is the confounding variables this is the odds ratio of each category of the uh, observation category and then crude odds ratio is 5.11 by using mh uh, combined that is the pooled adjusted odds ratio is given 4.8 that shows that the uh, the uh, diabetes will be 4.8 times higher among the uh, uh, persons who are suffering with uh, hypertension by uh, and influenced by the age factor. Otherwise, this uh, 5.11 will give you the odds ratio of the uh, by diabetes in relation with the uh, hypertension only. Then chi-square is calculated, the pooled chi-square is calculated and then it shows that 0.9983 and it shows that it is a highly significant value. This is one way of calculating by using the command. Otherwise, go to the statistics by using the menu, come to the epidemiological related and then come to the table epidemiology and come to the case control odd ratio click here and cases cases are the number of persons who are suffering with diabetes and exposed for the uh, hypertension exposed for the hypertension that is the hypertension and then go to the options in that option you will have the stratification by age by age of the individual click here and then bring to the age wise current age which is given in the coded value and it is given within the stratum you can have the weights by using the mental hygienal uh, tests that will give you by a confidence interval and then it will give you the pooled odds ratio or adjusted odds ratio by taking into consideration the stratified variables and click ok then that will give the same results and the command is also same therefore if you want to use by menu also you can use that otherwise by using the command also cc and then command the cases as well as the control by the confounding variable then you will get the answer and that will give you the pooled adjusted odds ratio and crude odds ratio and whether it is a significant or not by using the chi square which is also by using the mental hazinal chi square is also given which is significant that shows that the uh, the confound end load chi square is a family of distribution of commonly used for significance testing of categorological variables it is assumed that chi square means it is a general assumption or general thinking that it is a pearson's chi square but there are type chi square is a family of distribution therefore there are types of chi square pearson chi square likelihood ratio chi square cochran test chi square mental hazinal's chi square etc cochran in 1954 proposed a test of conditional independency on row total considering each 2 by 2 table consisting of independent binomials that is the cell count in each table have a binomial distribution whereas in the pearson chi square the cell count in each table assumes a normal distribution pattern mental hazinal test is also a mental hazinal chi square test mhc proposed test statistics using hypergeometric assumption that is the cell count of each table is is a hypergeometric distribution pattern you can see here these are the selected references about the topic the, this is given mental n and hazinal's w 1959 this is the original work statistical aspects of analysis of data 
from retrospective studies of diseases. Journal of National Cancer Institute, 22, 719-748 pages. Another is the Wilbur O, 1983, on the large sample distribution of mental SNLs odds ratio estimators. Biometrica, it is given. Hux WW, uh, 1979, also large sample variancy of mental SNLs estimators of common odds ratio, biometric, biometric 9, uh, 35, volume 4. There are so many other references are there, but I find this is the important uh, references which will deal with the mental SNLs uh, test. One can this. Thank you very much. And uh, please subscribe it, share it, and also comment it. Place your comments in the comments box. Thank you.